What's going on guys, this is Joey. I'm coming at you another video for the week. This week I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my reef tank. This is my other planted reef tank. As you can see, there's really not any plants here. All the plants is actually down in the sump area, so really it's probably just mainly a reef tank. I did actually have a couple plants on the right side, but ever since I actually um, you know, housed some new fish and added the purple tang, that purple tang pretty much uh, destroyed and ate most of the macroalgae in the tank anyways, which is uh, fine because I'm actually growing most of that macroalgae in the sump area anyways. All right, so today I'm actually feeding my anemone. My anemone has multiplied a lot in the tank. And actually, this is my most recent split here. This used to be one anemone, and actually now it's split into two. Now, since these guys are slightly smaller, I'm going to go ahead and give them smaller pieces here. This is just shrimp. Watch out, maroon clownfish. So what's really cool is the maroon clownfish actually lands in, on every anemone. So these two over here and the other three... On this other side, I'm going to show you guys in a second here. So these three here, um, actually we had these two that you guys saw on the previous one that was actually up here. And that one split and I actually dropped that one down here because it was too close to each other. And the, the enemies was just really fighting for space and it actually ended up liking that spot over there. This one up here ended up splitting um, from this one here and then that one kind of just dropped by itself in the bottom there. And actually if you look here, um, I think this one here is getting ready to split again to like even smaller ones. I don't know about this one. This one looks like it almost has two heads already and that one might end up splitting. So we'll see if that's the case. I'm just going to go ahead and feed these guys here. Uh, this one's the biggest one over here. The one on the right. So I'm going to give them a nice big piece. This one over here, the smaller one. So I'm going to give it a smaller one. This one looks like it already has two, almost like two heads, but I'll go ahead and just give just one for now. Um, so this tank right now, it's probably going to be converted into mainly uh, a coral, like just just softies and here and there, just really easy corals. Um, I'll probably end up trying to cover you know the whole side and also just whatever the anemone splits into. I probably won't keep as many anemones just because you know over time and eventually if you get too much anemones. This is going to kind of just take over the tank, so I'll end up probably um, selling a couple of these guys locally or to someone who might be interested in some of the anemones. But pretty much, you know, I'll keep probably a few anemones, but these little clownfish here, these pair, they'll actually end up like, you know, touching that anemone over here, running over here, you know, gliding that one, going up, making sure like everything is touched, um, you know, before they, <laughs> they actually do anything. And actually it's pretty cool because the uh, room clownfish actually is really careful uh, to make sure that each anemone gets food, so when I actually feed uh, flakes, it actually grabs the food and actually will put it towards the anemone um, and actually make sure each anemone eats. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. And the, you know, the actual lightning maroon clownfish and the gold nugget maroon clownfish here, they're actually really aggressive. I really tried to keep other fish in here and they've actually just been like kind of mean to each other. The only fish that actually does well is right now is just a tang. The purple tang is just because the purple tang is super fast. And also the purple tank is much bigger than the lightning maroon clownfish right now. So I think, you know, they can kind of co coexist a little bit here. But, you know, the, the purple tang is, is doing, you know, its thing, just kind of running around, eating, you know, the little hair algae here and there. There's still like a bunch of hair algae here. I, I think like it probably hasn't noticed that one, I guess. But any hair algae, like for exa example, that one here, I just recently pulled that one down. You know, it'll go through it pretty fast, especially like seaweeds in here and that. Um, it'll just kind of munch it up. So the other thing I want to do today as well is just uh, kind of do a quick like glass cleaning. Um, I haven't done this in a while. I mean, I can use a scraper here, but uh, it actually kind of scares the, the fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do this by hand. It's probably a little bit easier too. I'm just going to be fast because that lightning maroon clownfish will actually come after me and actually try to attack my tools or just attack my hand. Because it's actually really, really um, territorial. So, be very careful here. I've been slowly uh, trying to get rid of these bubble algae uh, just by doing my water change. So every two weeks or so, I'll do kind of a siphon. But I'll kind of target a lot of these areas here that have the bubble algae and just kind of pop them. And then kind of just suck the water out so that the spores and whatnot are minimized. And actually not dispersed back into the tank. 
Uh, that seemed to be helping. Um, there was a lot more on these rocks here, these main rocks over here. Slowed down a little bit. And right now, I just need to probably target these smaller ones here and uh, kind of get those removed. All right, so since I probably can't really grow macroalgae uh, anymore, I'm probably going to actually diversify and actually move some of these corals onto the right side just because, you know, I feel like, you know, the light's being wasted on this side uh, for not actually having any corals on this side. And plus, you can kind of get some of these uh, corals to grow a little bit better because they don't have to fight for light, fight for other stuff uh, and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and move one of these guys over here. Replant these guys here. This one was attached to two two of the rocks, or I mean two of the uh, frags here, so it's kind of splitting, which is pretty awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna just end up cutting this, make it a little bit easier. What I'll do is I'll just replant that guy there next to another frag, so I'll just spawn to that frag, and then this one here will be all by itself to grow in you know whenever or whatever it needs to do there a little shrimp there that's just still chilling but yeah slowly but surely I'll probably focus a little bit more on the uh, propagating of the corals I really haven't you know placed much much focus in the actual tank uh, just ever since um, I've been you know starting up with the other reef tank you know um, kind of cleaning up with the other stuff so probably try to focus a little bit more on the corals the softies here try to expand those guys out, um, see what's kind of lacking in terms of nutrients and kind of backfilling that to hopefully get uh, some of the corals nicely grown here. So this video is kind of just like on, on a, a weird day. I just didn't get a chance to uh, do it. I actually had some family emergency that I actually had to attend to. Uh, family is always first. And then, you know, I just got back, you know, yesterday. So um, kind of getting uh, settled back down and um, just uh, been able to start filming today for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's update um, Like always if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you are subscribed until next time guys. Peace